what themes. And uh, it was the first song I wrote, and a lot of the other songs seemed to attach themselves to it and actually edited out songs eventually that didn't. Because it felt like there was this particular grouping of songs that wanted to be sung together. And uh, I know at that point in my life when I was making that album, it's not as if I'm in a vastly different place now. But there was this sense of needing to know that there was like a safe place to go to again. Um, it's been a really exciting handful of years of my life as people have been tuning in and listening to these songs that, you know, find their inception, their starting place, usually just on a porch or a couch, you know, in my house. And then they, they work their, their way through editing and recording and post-production and all of that um, into a final product that then goes out and people listen to. And it's been so much fun to see that grow as the craft grows, but then there's the other part, which is, man, sometimes I'm 35 years old and I still feel like a 17-year-old skate kid, you know, like, wondering, when is, uh, when's this gonna fall apart? It doesn't seem like it should be working, you know? I have a wife and a lot of kids and responsibilities, and it's all good stuff, but there's this feeling that's been growing over the years of almost, I didn't realize the anxieties and the fear that was sort of, uh, trailing me, you know, and I think those at my, my stage in life, you can, you can relate, you know, where it's exciting because responsibility is being put in your lap. We're like coming to this age where we're, we're starting things and we're running things and that's exciting to have vision and see it play out in real time and grow. But then there's, there's the real feeling I've had where if this all depends on me and my will and my stamina and my ability it's gonna give out eventually, you know, if it's up to me to hold this together, not just music, but everything in life, you know, a family that's working and so many things that on paper look so good, but on in the reality um, is they're difficult and they take responsibility and it actually takes something outside of myself to see it work, to hold it together and anchor. And I was beginning to feel anchorless and fearful you know, so the songs that emerge were these ones of needing to know, like, where do I go? Where is the safe place? You know, I have a home, but I don't feel safe in this home that I just bought for a lot of money. You know, <laughs> I'm working hard to pay the mortgage for, you know? Like, is there a place that I'm safe, that I can go to, um, and I'm unconditionally loved, that I don't have to prove myself, and that uh, I'm provided for, and where I can come into trusting arms again and be cared for? And, uh, yeah, well, these songs were definitely that, knowing cognitively I had that place with my father, but in my heart not knowing it, you know? And uh, so often the songs are the catalyst for me, or the crucible, or whatever you'd want to call it, and for me figuring out life, you know? So you guys get the benefit of me. It's almost like my journal trying to figure out how does this work, you know? Um, so this song, At the Table, was the first one that came out. <laughs> Where I came from, somewhere back when I was young, I was a good man. 